what's up waivers welcome to phd and waves welcome to another video right now i'm in ghana west africa and today we're gonna go to one of the biggest local markets in ghana to get some 360 wave products and to just find some hair products in general they even got a restaurant called waves can you see that <laughs> they got a restaurant called waves so right now i'm gonna go head over to makala market it's one of the biggest local markets in ghana and we're gonna try to find some 360 wave products i'm gonna take you guys along for the journey i know some of you guys are gonna ask why are you going to a local market why don't you go to the mall why don't you go to a commercial you know store or a beauty store uh the first reason is i tried going to those places and they don't have any do rags they don't have any wave brushes they don't have any products that i really need for my waves um the second reason is i do want to support some local businesses here in ghana uh makala market forgive me if i'm pronouncing it wrong they do have a lot of local vendors so i do want to directly support local businesses here in ghana and then the last reason i think this would be a cool experience to check out all the shops and all the vendors and see if i could find some wave products um i met a lot of people here in ghana who have waves and they say it's very hard to find wave products but I'm very certain that if I go to Makala Market, there's gonna be a ton of shops. You guys are gonna see, there's gonna be a ton of shops, a ton of businesses with a bunch of different products. So I'm gonna see what I can find. So let's get right into today's video. All right, waivers, first things first, I'm hopping on this bus to go to the market. As you can see, short little distance and we're arriving at the market right now. Free the youth, if you know, you know. All right, so I just arrived at the market. All right, so I arrived at the market. As you can see, there's a bunch of people selling all different kinds of products. It's a very busy place. A lot of people come here to buy and sell. There's a ton of products. There's fabrics, there's food. There's literally anything you could think of at this market. And it's super busy, it's super crowded. And so here I am making my first stop. I saw some mirrors and some brushes. So these are some wave products that I could use. So I definitely had to pick up some of this stuff. I got a couple brushes, I got a mirror, I believe. Um, and I think that's all I got. Here we are continuing the journey. As you can see, more products, some hair products, but I didn't really think I needed any of that stuff or I just didn't like the product selection. So here we go, moving on. Got some a bunch of clothes that people can buy. Um, a bunch of different stuff. This place is literally packed. And as you can see, I'm trying to maneuver through the crowd. Um, so yeah, right now I think I'm trying to find a do-rag. It took me a long time to find a do-rag. Like, I don't know why, but but here we are we found a do-rag i think i bought two of those just in case um so yeah i definitely had to cop the do-rag that's definitely a wave essential all right now we're continuing my search to find more wave products i think right now i'm looking for some pomade or a type of hair product to put in my hair and then i stumbled upon some shea butter as you can see she has the raw shea butter right there she's cutting it up so that's how you know it's literally straight from the source they probably just made it and then moving on i saw somebody selling some combs and some brushes so i bought a comb and i also bought a different kind of brush just in case i need some options as far as brushes you never know you could always use some extra brushes it was super hot as you can see yo i'm sweating um but you know we sell going forward with the experience we're finding different wave products look at all the products they got here like this is i don't they don't really have this kind of stuff in america so it's definitely like an interesting experience to go around and buy items in this way um i don't want to sound too much like a tourist but i personally thought it was a dope experience here as you can see i passed some wave caps they didn't really look like they were exactly what i needed so i ended up not getting it and right here there's literally a truck backing up in the middle of like the whole shop so it's definitely like a very like kind of chaotic place so you do have to be careful and you know watch your surroundings because things do get kind of chaotic and right here i stumbled upon an actual beauty store and this is a perfect example because i literally didn't find any do-rags no brushes so it's hard to find you know do-rags and brushes i just got some pomade here so even though this is a beauty store i literally didn't find much wave products and that's what i mean by it's very hard to find wave products in ghana all right y'all i think i found everything that i needed i might be missing one or two things but i'm tired i'm about to go home 
and show you guys everything that i got all right here i'm back on the bus as you can see look at these crowds this is definitely a very popular place to shop and here i am back on the bus front seat so i got a good view of everything and i can't wait to show you guys everything i got in detail all right waivers i just got back from the market just want to quickly walk through everything that i got it's been a long day it's been a lot of walking trying to find different products here in ghana before I show you guys the products, I just wanna say one reason why I really made this video is because I've met a lot of my fans here in Ghana and a lot of them, they keep telling me like, oh, it's very hard to find Wave products. One of the reasons why you don't see so many like Wave brands is because it, it is expensive to import products into Ghana. That's why you don't really see a lot of the big brands. All right, so let's start with brushes. I got a bunch of brushes here, as you can see. The first brush is this, um, this club brush it's like a hard brush it's pretty hard i could definitely use this uh when i'm wolfing next brush that i got uh, i got this one this is like a soft brush next brush i got this one um it's like a medium soft brush and then i got this other smaller brush this one is like a medium brush all right, the next thing I wanna go over is these do-rags. I, I was literally looking like for a whole hour trying to find a do-rag. That's probably one of the harder things that um, I had to find. Um, I kept seeing stuff that were kind of like do-rags, but not really. Here's the packaging. Let's see, I do recognize this brand um, in America. It's just a normal, it's just a do-rag, regular do-rag. It's not like the highest quality do-rag, but you know, it could definitely do the job. The only thing I would say about this do-rag is the strings are kind of short. Typically, like with do-rags that I use, I could pull these back and tie it in the back, but this one, it kind of stops short. So the next thing that I got is a mirror. You definitely need a mirror uh, just to see your brush angles and stuff like that. So just a regular mirror. One thing that I wasn't really expecting to find was I found this uh, wave grease or this wave cream. I did not expect to find a product like this, but I found it. It smells pretty good. And yeah, just to get your wave journey started, this is not a bad product to have. It says Gel Pomade X Waves. I've never heard of this brand, but that's crazy that I found it. Also, I got some shea butter. As you guys saw in the video, she was literally there cutting up the shea butter. If you guys didn't know, shea butter is made in Ghana. It's one of the places where it's made. So I'm sure she probably got it straight from the source. It was probably made and then brought to the market and then I got it. So that's pretty dope that I got some 100% natural uh, shea butter straight from the source. Other things that I got, um, I got this comb, just a regular comb. And then I got this hair and beard growth herbal oil. And then last but not least, I got some African black soap. I actually made a video of me doing the wash and style with the African black soap. And I also posted the African black soap on TikTok. And a lot of people were telling me it looks like you know, it looks like, you know what I mean? So some people, they just have their opinion on what it looks like. And the only thing that I wasn't able to get was a moisturizer. I even stumbled upon that actual beauty store in within the market, but they didn't really have anything that I actually wanted as far as like ingredients that I was looking for. But I did see some moisturizers at ShopRite, but they were a little bit too expensive, so I didn't really want to buy them. But yeah, as far as everything, you know, I got do-rags, I got brushes, I got shea butter, I got oil, I got pomade, I got African black soap to wash my hair with, and I pretty much got everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was definitely a dope experience. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.